Okay, who has better hair? Me or this plant? I think I'm gonna lose. And grow YouTube show. Okay, plant friends, I'm so excited for the surprise YouTube video for you that I'm making. We are here at Planted by Christy, which is a new rare plant shop that opened up in Long Island City. So this video is twofold. One, I'm letting you know about the new garden party community platform that I just launched this week. But also I wanna give you a tour. The owner has been kind enough to kind of open his doors to show us this amazing place. This is a 10 minute walk from my old apartment in New York City and I am like, so thankful that they opened after I left because I would straight up be broke if I still lived in Long Island City and this plant shop was close to me because it is like unreal. It's seriously taken me about 30 minutes to like pull my jaw up off the floor uh, in order to record this video for you because I've truly just been walking around the entire place gaping and like squealing at the plants that they have. So before we get into the tour, <sighs> of all these plants. I haven't been around so many houseplants in a long time. I'm like really excited. Um, but I'm even more excited to tell you about the launch of the Blooming Grow Garden Party. It is the new community platform and app that I have created specifically for our community of podcast listeners and YouTube watchers. Um, in 2020, we sent out a listener survey that so many people filled out. And the biggest thing that kind of surprised me from feedback was wanting a different place to house our community off Facebook. We have a private Facebook group that's available to our Patreon plant friends, but people were not loving it and we are out of control of that algorithm. For the last five months, six months, I've been researching different platform apps and ways to bring our community together in a new exciting way. The Garden Party app and community platform is both. There's an app and a like web browser feature that you can use and I'm calling it like our Facebook group on extra strength fertilizer. So there are so many amazing features in this platform that I wanna show you. But I figured to show you, I might as well just like take you inside the platform and let you poke around a little bit. So let's go on a little tour. Okay, plant friends, it's me. I'm down here now in this little circle uh, with this screen record. I'm not gonna show you specifics of people because I wanna protect the um, names and identities, obviously, of the people in this private community because that's the whole part of it, that's the whole thing. Um, but I wanted to give you a quick tour and some insight into all the different features that the Garden Party has in case you're interested. So first off, there's an app. So this is the web browser version, but there's a really easy to navigate app that you can also kind of access everything that the Garden Party has on, but let's look at it. So. This area is the main feed. So if I was to scroll, you would see like the many, many posts of our community asking about people's favorite philodendrons, asking, hey, like what's wrong with my plant? Um, asking who is in the New Jersey area and wants to get together, like all sorts of different planty questions. Um, we have all sorts of different topics, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but this is like the main feed and you get to control your feed. So we are in control of our own algorithm kind of in the garden party. You can subscribe to certain topics, which you'll see in a minute. You can see everything that gets post, but you are able to kind of tinker with exactly what you're seeing and you're in control of it. Whereas on a lot of these other social media apps, like you have no control over the algorithm and it's really frustrating. So that's interesting. Our members feature, um, you are able to toggle the members near you feature. And if you share your location in the app, you can choose to share it or not. You will be able to pull up other members that are in your area if you wanted to connect and make local plant friends. Here is where the feed gets really organized, the topics. So we have all sorts of different conversation topics within this uh, community. So you can subscribe to all of these conversation topics and see all of the posts or you can kind of, if you're only into houseplants, you can go into this houseplant topic and see only the houseplant conversations. So you kind of tag when you make posts, you tag which topic it falls under and it organizes things. So we have houseplants, gardening, introductions, plant SOS, all sorts of different topics. There's even a plant swap suite feature where you could connect with other people to do in real life or even through the mail plant swaps, plant ID, Friday features, even planty businesses. If you have a YouTube channel that you want to share, if you have a product that you want to share, you can share it within the planty business area. Um, because in our community guidelines, there's like a no solicitation rule so that it maintains this like creative, supportive community. That's not just like people spamming their products, but we've created a space where you can share your products 
and your channels and your media um, if that's something that you want to do to network. There's also these regional groups that we have. So once you get in here, you can choose which regional group you want to belong to and you can belong to more than one. And then within these groups, people can go in and share their favorite local nurseries. Um, if there's a local plant swapping swap happening, you can share that. Um, but it's a way to like intimately kind of get to know the people in your area as well if you're interested. Right now we also have Australia, Canada, Europe, um, and we will expand those sections as the community grows based on requests. And then also in education, we have free community resources, which are adorable downloads um, that are inspired by different Bloom and Grow radio episodes. So we will click on this one, for example. So this is the free download that we've created that is exclusive to the members of the Garden Party. It's inspired by episode 50, Maranta, Calathea, and Stromanthi with Mark Hatchadorian from the New York Botanical Garden. And basically it's like a cheat sheet of all of the kind of information that we talked about in that episode. And then the cool thing is that this plant care guide that we've created inspired from the episode becomes this living growing guide because when you scroll down, you can comment your own Maranta, Calathea, Stromanthi tips and then our community can comment and keep growing this plant of a care guide um, tailored to our community and our own experiences and even like Jamie humble bragging about this beautiful stromanthi that she has. So that's just the taste that I'm giving you. If you want to learn more, you're going to have to join the community to check it out. So you've seen it. It is pretty awesome. There are some really magical conversations happening. Everybody in the platform is so nice, so on board. I can't wait to expand the platform in a couple of months. There's going to be things that continue growing. And if you're a founding plant friend, you're going to be the first to kind of get in the platform, start digging around, start growing your roots and establishing yourself. So there is a founding plant friend special um, that's launching today and running through July 1st. It's a discounted monthly rate. And if you buy an annual membership, you get two months free. So I highly suggest you clicking the link in the show notes or you can just go to jointhegardenparty.com in order to take advantage of the discount. So the founding rate is $4.99 per month and then uh, $49.99 for annual membership and if you think about it like that's basically the price of a plant for an entire year's worth of community support, advice, knowledge sharing um, and everything in the platform is searchable which is like the coolest aspect of it. So why don't you come join me in the garden party? You can go to jointhegardenparty.com or click the link below to go to the landing page so you can sign up. I cannot wait to party with you in the garden party. Okay, speaking of tours, why don't we have a little tour of this amazing plant shop planted by Christy. They're super interesting. They are positioning themselves to be a rare plant provider in the city. There are a lot of more general nurseries, general plant shops, but they are where the rare plants are. I don't think I've ever been in one plant shop with so many rare plants. Thank you so much for having me here. Welcome. I've been picking my jaw off the floor for the last 45 minutes. Most is this, people do that. Yeah, is this the normal <laughs> it's reaction? Common, we're used to that. <laughs> so why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and why you decided to start this rare plant specific nursery? Yeah, so it all started while I was working at uh, Nelly's Flower Shop for my wife and her family. Uh, you know, COVID hit and we got more acquainted with plants as opposed to flowers because the flower market kind of died out. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of stuff was coming into, into the country. So we started dabbling with pink princesses and a few other rare plants. Things got very popular and we just decided to hey let's let's try and get them direct from direct sources and, and and start a little rare plant thing and long story short we started taking some imports so like what are your top five probably hardest to find plants that you maybe have in your growing I saw your monstera albos back there what else do you think we also have the variegated mints Monstera and the Sony Eye, uh -huh. which is probably the most popular. We have uh, and the mint. Oh my God, I saw the mint we back have there. The mint variegated and the Sony Eyes. We have uh, Monstera albos. We have a lot of different types of philodendrons. We have a variegated Billetia that we've been that kind of trying amazing. to grow. Uh, a lot of different stuff, and we're constantly bringing new things. We just got a really nice shipment of like exotic Hoyas, Great Ghosts, and we're working on getting some more uncommon Hoyas right now, which is kind of like the. the Bad right now it seems like a yeah hoyas hoyas are hot hoyas yeah. are very hot and where can people find you online and in new york city so we're located in long island city uh 24-11 41st avenue uh we have an instagram at planted by christy 
which uh, a lot of people follow us. We do a lot of Instagram stories with our, all of our inventory when we're releasing plants. And you do like secret drops on your Instagram, like you did a secret drop yesterday? We, we tried to have a secret drop today to kind of see if people would come in. So we did good in the, in the morning, but then, you know, we still have a lot of stuff left over. So we figured let's just start telling people what we do have just to mm -hmm. kind of like give them an idea that we're not bluffing and so cool i love yeah. it well okay. follow the instagram and you said that maybe i could go check out your grow house you in the back definitely have at it go take a look around and enjoy yourself okay cool thanks no problem okay plant friends signing out next to my new friend the philodendron felicier i think i pronounced that correctly this place is amazing if you're in long island city if you're a rare plant collector or if you're interested in it you have to check it out i hope you enjoyed this very brief impromptu tour um the links to planted by christy are below and also become a founding plant friend of the bloom and grow garden party i can't wait to see you in the platform in the party Beauty.